so I'm a huge Google Slides fan. Um, even when I need to write something, I can always stretch a text box and then I can format it any way I want. But sometimes I know you just need to use a word processor with your students. And so I want to show you how we can kind of grab some of the functionality from Google Slides and insert it into a Google Doc. So this is great if your students need to create a model of something to show understanding. So today we're going to talk about circuits and learn about circuits with our fifth graders. I need to know if my students can assemble a circuit. So we see here we've got the directions right here. I'll go ahead and highlight them in yellow for you. So we need to double click the image. It's going to open a Google drawing and then we need to create a simple circuit with the parts provided. So as a fifth grade student for me that may not be very familiar with the tools, it's going to be very simple because everything I need is provided for me for this activity. So all I have to do is double click the image and now Google Drawings opens up inside of Google Docs and I can grab my power source, I can grab my light, I need a switch so I can turn it on and off, I can grab a red wire and look it just snaps right to the positive side and let's snap it to the bottom of the bulb, let's grab a black wire and again we can snap it right to the negative side of the battery we can snap it onto the switch and then we can snap it onto the light bulb and now I have a functioning circuit that when I hit save and close it updates here on the screen so if you assign this through Google Classroom where every student got a copy every student can have a unique looking circuit on their page that they turn into you and then you can evaluate so this is really simple to set up. So if we were needing to show our understanding of how to build a model of an atom, it's real simple to do. We hit insert, drawing, we're going to pick a new one. Like I said, I like to give my students all the parts that they need. I don't want for this kind of activity, I'm not looking for a unique model. Everyone should look pretty similar. Um, so we're going to go in here and create our protons. So here's a pro tip for you. Hold down shift, stretch that circle, and it'll be a perfect circle. So we have our protons. Let's center that text and let's make it bold and a little bit bigger. There we go. I think a proton should be red. Uh, then we have neutrons in there. So I'm just going to copy and paste this proton. Signify my neutron there. How about blue? And we know we also need an electron in there as well. So signified by our negative sign and let's make it yellow. So the next thing we need to do is I need to give my students multiple protons, neutrons, and electrons. So to do that I'm going to start here with my electron, hit control C to copy it to my clipboard and start tapping control V until I have enough of these electrons. Now this is really messy so let's neaten it up for our students. I'm going to click and drag this blue box around all of my electrons to select them. So now they all move as a group. Go to Actions and we need to align them horizontally and vertically in the center and then vertically in the middle and now they're all stacked together. And finally the proton. Since I don't need all this space, I'm going to neaten it up. And the last thing I need to do is show my students where to put them. So let's add the rings. Again, we're going to hold down shift to keep a perfect circle. I'm going to center it on the page. I don't need the blue background, so I'm going to make it transparent. 
pump up the weight and I'm actually going to change to a dash line for that. I'm going to again hold down shift as I resize to keep it a perfect circle. And I'm going to use these red bars to guide me. Now my students know exactly where to stack electrons. So we hit save and close and now this functions just like any other image and we can resize it and when our students come into the assignment all they have to do is double click and they can start moving electrons onto the rings when they hit save and close and go back to Google Classroom turn it in as you scroll through now you can see the model that they built